like to give a quick shout out to Nick Nett who's allowing me to use this picture for today's tutorial. We all have pictures that were taken in the 60s, 70s and part of the 80s that the chemicals now that reacted to the paper are all turning either red or yellow or an orange. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to fix that color cast and give you a couple of bonus tips on how to put color back into the picture. Alright, let's go! As you can see in the picture that Nick lent me to use today, it's probably from the 70s, so it's starting to turn a little bit orange red from the way the chemicals and the paper reacted back in the day. So what we'll do is we're gonna remove that and maybe enhance the picture a little bit with some bonus tips. So first thing we'll do, we'll copy the layer and then we'll make it a smart object. And because it's a JPEG, I always go to filter, neural filters, and JPEG artifacts removal, just to get the picture starting to look nice already. So the computer will do its thing and hit okay. Now let's make a stamp visible layer and make it a smart object. And we'll go into filter, neural filters, and over to colorize. Now we'll let colorize do its thing and bam, it removes the color cast and puts back some colors it thinks is natural for the picture. All right, before the bonus tips, let's give our eyes a little time to adjust. I'd like to remind everybody to please like, subscribe, ring my bell for all further videos coming up. Let's get to the bonus tips. So what we can do in the bonus tips here, number one, let's go down to the bottom. Let's scroll. We'll take the color artifact reduction and make it about 25. We'll do the same with the noise reduction. Now, what we'll do is we'll scroll back up. And as you can see over here, the closet has kind of got two different colors to it. So you can click in the picture on the side here, grab a color you like. So let's kind of make it a brownish color for the closet doors and hit okay. And it'll add that. So let's hit it a couple of more times and add some brown. As you can see over here in the washroom, the tile looks like it could have been pink at one time. So let's click over there once, grab over here your color, and we'll kind of make it a nice pink. And we'll hit it again. Nice pink color over there. Now on the side here on the wall, more than likely was a kind of an off white or a cream. So we'll do the same thing. We'll click over there once, go to your color, and kind of bring it over here a bit. There, we've enhanced the picture a little bit, just getting started. Now, if you wish, click on one of the brown ones here and click possibly on their hair. And it brings that out a bit, grab the saturation, bring it up to about 10, and we're good to go here to start redoing this picture. Very cool stuff. Make sure it says Smart Filter and hit OK. As you can see, there are multiple things you can do to your pictures to bring them back to life and even start adding to it. Thanks for sticking out to the end of the video. I'll see you soon.